All right, guys, so I just got him back in town from North Americans. We were all out there, the three of us. That's like the first show that the three of us have been at in a while together. So Matt was there, Berzicott was there, I was there. We had an amazing weekend for our athletes. So out of the 10 that we put on stage, five ended up getting their pro cards and nobody missed first call out. So every athlete that we brought to North Americans made first call out in every class that they did. So that was an amazing accomplishment, super happy about that. And now I'm back here, I'm not traveling for two months. So I can like be a little bit more, you know, focused on myself for a bit. I don't have to, you know, sacrifice any of, you know, my own bodybuilding when I'm traveling. Cause when I travel for shows, it's about the athletes on stage. I might sneak a workout in here when I can. I do the best that I can with my meals, but ultimately at the end of the day, I'm there for them. So now I can be, you know, really focused for it the next two months, like linearly with no breaks, which for me is like a lot of time to be able to just like really crank on it, try and chase down this this goal that we have set right now, where, you know, Matt was like, we, we gotta get to 2.30. And so we're, we're pushing for it. We're getting closer every single week. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, I mentioned in the previous video how Hemanine was gonna be here for two weeks and then go back. She's not going back. She's just staying and but we're going to train together every single day. So that's that's awesome to have her here uh, to be able to push her, but also have her push me and us just be able to benefit from having an everyday training partner. So we're hitting hamstrings today. So follow along. We're going to get after it. Come on. Okay. Come on. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Okay.
One of the keys to having big legs is making sure that you have big adductors. Monumental stuff here. Bet you never heard that one before. But in all seriousness, this is like a whole second half to your leg, especially in your shots from the front and even from your shots from the back. If you want to have width to your leg, you can't neglect this inner thigh, which is your adductor. And you'll see some guys that have it connect all the way down to what looks like their knee. And then you have guys that have amazing sweep, beautiful quads, and just have completely vertical adductors. So this machine is something that everybody should be spending a good bit of time on. And your adductor is a very strong muscle group too. So you do have to hit it pretty aggressively to get it to actually see any type of visual, the visual effects. But there also isn't like any one-to-one -one comparison beyond this this machine like this movement you're you're, you're not going to get the same amount of adductor recruitment out of a high and wide leg press single leg leg press lunges rdls anything like that do those hit some adductor sure but not like this does there's no one-to-one -one replacement so everybody should be hitting this really aggressively every week they want to have big legs Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Come on. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay. I like doing some unilateral movements legs especially for single joint movements like a hamstring curl or a leg extension because everybody has imbalances so for me my right quad is smaller than my left quad but my right hamstring is like it's the one that I show when I kick back so for me and this is the one that I've also had a my left hamstring is the one that I've had a ton of injuries on but dating back to like football and track days I've pulled this hamstring like two or three times so it's kind of damaged in a sense, but doing a unilateral movement allows me to kind of like focus in on this and try and get it to catch up. So if I get like 10 reps on this, I know that with this one, I'd have to get no less than 10, if not more. And if anything, I'll tend to almost kind of put a governor on myself with my stronger leg and let my left one try and catch up a little bit. So that way I, I don't have those imbalances. She's not gonna do unilateral though. She's gonna do bilateral.
Yes. Typically, after doing the two curl versions out there, we would do something like a high and wide leg press. Like, I'm still a fan of that movement. We do it typically every hamstring day. But Ahmedine has had some like really bad patellar tendonitis for months. And we're just now getting her to get some treatment on it now. So I was not interested in doing anything that was gonna like directly load her knee. Even though you're not getting a ton of knee flexion out of, a high and wide leg press it still was just something that we could do without for the day. We don't have to do that movement to get, you know, an effective hamstring workout in. So after this, we're going to hit uh, a hip hinging movement. I think dumbbell RDLs is what we'll end up doing. And then that'll be it for the workout.
So what we do, seated hamstring curl, adductor, single leg hamstring curl, inverse curl, RDL. Solid day, solid day. Two weeks I didn't want her doing any knee flexion so she won't be able to train quads. We'll have to tailor the hamstring days a little bit but it's not a big deal. We can still get some really effective workouts in on hamstrings without having to do, you know, a leg press whether it's high and wide or single leg or anything like that. So we still came in, got after it, got back to work. Now I can kind of just really focus on being progressive in the gym, being progressive with food and driving the body weight up, not traveling and everything like that. It just always throws me really, really for a loop. Like I'm not a very good traveling bodybuilder like some people are. And I like my routine. I like being in my element. I like being here in Stewart, so when I have to, you know, go places for extended periods of time, whether it's two days, three days, four days, or whatnot, it throws me off a little bit. So it's good to be back. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe as always, and we will catch you next week. Bye. <laughs> don't be, don't be shy. I don't know what to say. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to follow my Instagram, it's no, no, at no, no. Holly underscore Amandine. Mm -hmm. It's Kali underscore Amandine. Yeah. Just put it up on the screen somewhere. <laughs> Will do.